What's up guys, it's Asgard here. Hope you guys enjoyed the New Atlantis campaign. To me, it's probably my favorite one. It takes place and follows up a little bit on the Fall of the Trident campaign and adds a lot of new dimensions such as the really, really strong Titan units and explores a lot of the mythology and has some really, really interesting challenges. And to be honest, I think I enjoy the story a lot more than Fall of the Trident. It's definitely my favorite. As we've done with the two campaigns so far, we're going to wrap it up with a run through of each of the missions and a few of my tips and tricks on how to beat each one. Hope you guys enjoy. The New Atlantis campaign kicks off with the Lost People, in which the leader of Atlantis is t overtaken by a Titan and is shown a dream in which he is um, shown a sky passage and he leads the people of uh, Atlantis who have been sort of wandering uh, the, the world since the fall of Atlantis uh, to hopefully a new land in which they can colonise. With this there is an army that you have to get past in order to get to the sky passage. I suggest you push forward with your early army to destroy a few of the buildings just to really cripple them, stop them building up a big army. Do build some defensive towers, particularly to the south of your base, uh, as they will come and attack you. Build lots and lots of villages because you want a really, really good economy to really just overwhelm them in sheer numbers, which, because they'll only really have a few soldiers. Uh, wait till you have two fire siphons, which will be gifted by the Atlantean people, uh, and then attack because the fire siphons will destroy, both of them together will destroy all of the walls and buildings uh, quickly enough that you should be able to win. Episode 2 is Atlantis Reborn, in which the Greek colonies uh, see you as evil, uh, so go out to attack you. Uh, scout out to rebuild all of the temples, as there are quite a few around, and they'll give you some pretty cool uh, myth units uh, when, when you rebuild them. Push south quickly, uh, as you won't really get attacked in your primary base, and you'll find another town centre and a bit of a, a, bit of a clearing, uh, where you can build up some defences and really, really get a lot of land uh, and sit back, build up some siege and destroyers just to really eliminate buildings as they'll probably be able to build soldiers faster than you can so you want to push past the soldiers and try and destroy the buildings if you can. When you push on into their base uh, the same rule applies as they'll build soldiers faster than you can. There is the option for sailing around and landing but you will still need to push past their soldiers in order to destroy the town centre. Number three is greetings from Greece, in which you sail over to Greece and to have a chat with them. But really, you want to steal their plenty votes. Uh, you won't get very many villages, so I highly recommend protecting them, be it by uh, garrisoning them or by keeping them well back behind walls. Uh, you're going to want to build defensive walls. Uh, you can see in my playthrough where I built them, but I built them just after the uh, the second or, or the third, depending on how you count them. Um, Plenty vault, um, and also do capture the fishery to the south of that, and build the build the walls around that as well. Uh, do destroy the statues that you'll find around as well, as they will often grant you uh, powers, or they will grant you um, uh, the statues that shoot arrows and extra defenses, which is also good. Do research safe passage within the sky sky passage, as that'll help them increase their defense and add a bit of an attack to them. So will help help to defend your base through that. Uh, there is the topmost plenty vault uh, that you can get to using an underworld passage. And we found just the right of uh, number two stroke number three uh, plenty vault, depending on how you count them. And if you capture that, they won't. Their army doesn't patrol that one, so you can, if you kill the snakes around it, uh, you can keep that one for the duration of the game, providing good resources. Episode four is Odin's Tower, in which uh, you have to destroy sail to the north, and you have to destroy Odin's Tower as revenge against the gods by replacing the three. Uh, temples with your own. Build a wall to the east is the only base that you really have to destroy is the greens uh, as they will use forest fire to break into your base and so make sure you're ready for it with a nice wall. Build a fishery to the south as that will give you some nice food to uh, help out. Um, you can either go wipe out the greens and then hop along the top uh, between each of the temples as all you need to get is a bit of line of sight of each temple or there is the bridle of pegasus relic around which you can use to get a pegasus which you can use to get line of sight on the temples number five is ancient relics where you travel to egypt in order to steal three of their ancient relics uh, for me i sailed across the river to build the backward town center as that was easily defendable and no one would really attack it meaning i could build up a very strong economy there do build walls around that temple because if you do lose that temple you will lose. 
um, but do also use the river as a means of breaking into two of the uh, bases on the river, um, which means you can very easily get the base to the uh, to, to the west by sailing along the river and sneaking through the back. Choose your targets uh, to acquire the easiest first, as by harvesting the relics you will get god powers which will help with some of the harder targets. So capture the one to the south first, and then uh, to the east, then to the west, then to the uh, sort of southwest, uh, southeast rather, um, as... Uh, that'll help you, the gold powers will really help you. Number six is Mount Olympus, in which you basically ride to the top of Mount Olympus uh, and destroy the uh, Temple of the Gods. Uh, with this one, it's all about working out which soldiers you want, as you can change their form as they walk uh, by moving them near the temples. Always lead into army with Caster, as Caster can be healed. Caster will can just act as a tank to really absorb a lot of their attacks, while your units destroy everyone else. Uh, all about keeping your units alive, so use your Valk uh, at least have two Valkyries in order to heal all of your units. You can also convert uh, pigs and ancestors into myth units as well. So rather than using the ancestors' god power for a bit of a defense or a bit of an offensive push, use them near a temple and you can use them to create some permanent extra myth units. And any pigs you get to the cursed god power, you can do the same with. Do have a look around, destroy some of the sh shrines as well, as they will grant you extra abilities and god powers, which will be really, really useful. Number seven is Betrayal at Sicius, in which uh, Castor realises he's messed up bad and has released so, the first of the Titans. During this, Ajax and Amanra uh, have to defend from the spawn of Prometheus uh, in order to build up uh, three rocks and send them over to Castor to save him. Uh, wall up all the routes bar the southernmost route of your into your base. Uh, don't bother with the extra town centre. Um, that way they have to walk around all of your walls in order to get to your base. And then just mass priests, because the only units they'll send you are the spawn of Prometheus. And priests are anti-myth units, so we'll destroy them really, really well. Uh, you can cheat and uh, just send three rocks straight over to Castor straight away. Um, but that's... Um, kind of preempting it a little bit, uh, so just mass priests. Number eight is Cerberus in um, Serbia, Cerberus, in which you have to travel to Egypt to destroy the Titan. Uh, wall off the Guardian straight away. You have to wall him off to really be able to stand a chance of defending him, and uh, wall off the trade route as well, um, as you will be very, very dependent on that gold as you are Egyptian. Don't be afraid to run around the map and use your god powers to try and find all of those caravans that even in the most bizarre places like in your base, already on the trade route, uh, just to the south, just to the uh, west, places like that. So make sure you gather them all up because you will really, really need them. Beware, beware the rocks as they will try and um, go straight into your base and fly some troops into your base. Uh, so just build a couple of towers to shoot the rocks down or just keep some priests around to destroy the rocks there. And you can heal the son of Osiris in this one, so don't be afraid to have some priests near him in order to heal him. As you can uh, hear, priests are very important, so, uh, so make sure you have the gold required. So you need to look after those caravans, at least with two layers of walls. Number nine is Rampage, in which you travel to the north, so the north to destroy the Titan there. You can slow him down uh, and sort of distract him with units and wait for Nighog to arrive but my advice is start uh, with an attack early you have a lot of heroes so send in at the attacks early to freeze the titan and then eliminate all of the starving soldiers that prevents them from building up any base so pretty much just leaves the titan who can't regenerate so you can freeze him using a uh, full stag attack him using your anti anti uh, titan units your heroes and also the frost giants that spawn from the towns um, and then once he unfreezes run away um, until Falstag can freeze him again, freeze him again, and use them to kill the Titan. Number 10 is making amends, uh, in which you travel back to Sicius in order to uh, you, uh, use Gaia to kill Prometheus. A wall up from the east uh, with towers um, and walls and things, uh, including the gold mines, as you will be needing those gold mines. You can use the Gaia forests to seal the north passage to prevent the attacks from coming through there. So if they do want to attack you, they have to go through the east with the towers. Um, try and keep 50% of, so there's a, a lap that Prometheus does, try and keep 50% of the lap ahead of him, uh, building the town centres, as that will give you enough time to build the town centres using two villagers and enough time for them to heal the area using Lush. Once he is then um, weakened, you can um, kill him with your heroes, um, making sure you leave one alive to run away, recover, revive the other ones, let them recover, then attack him again. And you should kill him quite quickly. If you are able to get some soldiers out to help them uh, under the constant attacks from the base of the north, uh, then all the better. 
Number 11 is Atlantis Portrayed, where you return to the original Atlantis colony um, in order to save all the, uh, all the, the villagers. Uh, the first bit of the uh, mission is very uh, very standard and very walked through, but when you get to the bit where you have to get into the Sky Temple um, in order to follow Krios, uh, make sure you attack through the south as that is furthest from the north, and the north is defended by lightning towers which will kill your troops very very easily. Use fanatics and fire siphons as fanatics are the best unit you can build, and the fire siphons will be able to destroy their defences such as their walls, uh, towers, and uh, the Tartarus gates that spawn very very easily very very quickly so make sure you have at least five fire siphons ready to go. Uh, he will spawn Tartarus gates at each of the entrances so make sure you destroy those as quickly as possible as when they um, when they start pumping out units they will overwhelm you very quickly and they'll regenerate pretty much as quickly as you destroy them. Final mission is War of the Titans. With this one it's quite easy you only have to protect one tree so focus on protecting one of the trees in order to regenerate Gaia to kill um, Kronos. Um, I choose the eastern tree usually as you can it's surrounded on three sides by Gaia forests already so you can use Gaia forests to wall off the rest of it and then play for an easy victory uh, as none of the enemy units can get to you. Hope you guys enjoyed, if you did leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye guys.